It was a hastily called news conference, an apology at 9 o'clock Friday night near Tokyo. The president of Toyota, Akio Toyota, saying he's sorry for the global recall, but declaring, believe me, Toyota's cars are safe. On the company's website, a clear explanation for the sudden acceleration problems, stuck floor mats, sticky gas pedals, and a fix. It's all mechanical, the company says, and it's solved. But is it? I would say unequivocally that Toyota's explanations do not account for the, the share of unintended acceleration complaints that we've examined. CNN talked with four leading experts in the field of sudden acceleration, car safety, and automotive recalls. Despite Toyota's statements, these experts independently conclude something very different. Toyota does not know what is causing the sudden acceleration in its cars, and therefore doesn't really know how to fix them. From what people have told me about their sudden acceleration incidents, um, most of them have got nothing to do with the sticking pedal at all. Why? Sean Kane with Safety Research Strategies, an automotive safety consulting firm that has tracked the sudden acceleration complaints literally for years now, says follow the data. 2,200 incidents, 815 crashes, 18 deaths. Some, yes, are floor mats. Some, yes, he says, may be a stuck gas pedal. But that's the problem. The records show just some of the problems explained. We're seeing thousands of complaints from consumers that report very consistent types of problems across a number of years, makes, and models. We're seeing these long duration on highway events. We're seeing short duration in parking lot events. There's a series of patterns that are emerging that cannot be explained. Kane says electronics are the likely culprit, interference with the car's computer systems. From his home in England, Dr. Anthony Anderson has looked at the same U.S. government data. Sudden accelerations really can't be explained by uh, drivers pressing their foot down on the accelerator uh, pedal, can't be explained by floor mats, loose floor mats, nor by sticky pedals, because the characteristic of these things is that they, the vehicles tend to take off by themselves with no input from the driver. Toyota insists that's just not true. In a statement to CNN, the company says after many years of exhaustive testing by us and by other organizations, we have found no evidence of an electronic problem in our electronic throttle control systems that could have led to unwanted acceleration. If you look at the, Clarence you Ditlow with the Center for Auto, auto Safety that, says he obtained a copy of one of those U.S. government tests on a Lexus and found it amateurish. They didn't do any real testing. Uh, for all I know, they just took uh, you know, a garage door opener, pointed it at the engine compartment and, and snapped it, and that's electrical interference to see whether or not anything happened. And they closed the hood and off they went. No problem. <laughs> he points to the test by the National Highway Transportation Safety Administration, NHTSA, for proof. A test track where a floor mat is jammed on the accelerator. The test driver punches every button, shifts gears, does anything he can to try to stop the car with no results. The conclusion? It's the floor mat. Ditlow's conclusion, it's not the way to test. If you're going to investigate whether or not the electronic controls are faulty, you have to do a scientific laboratory test, and they didn't do it. Inside the electronics lab at the University of Maryland's Clark School of Engineering, Professor Mike Peck specializes in laboratory-controlled interference testing. He says with today's continually changing car components, parts suppliers, and reliance on heavy electronics, the testing in noisy labs like his must be complete and continuous. They need to continuously be testing these products. You just can't test one day and say, oh, there's the product, unless they can make sure that there's been no other changes, and, it's, and that's very difficult today. And that, he says, may be the heart of Toyota's problem. Professor, I realize you're trying to be careful and maybe reluctant to say some things, but the floor mats don't seem to be the problem. A mechanical fix in the gas pedal doesn't seem to be the problem. In fact, the problem seems to be that Toyota, at this point in time, does not know the problem and therefore does not know how to fix it. I, I, think, that, I think that the evidence is pointing that way. It, I think the evidence is pointing that way, absolutely. So any fix is not a fix. So, so they're in a 
they're in a little bit of a, a quandary. If they uh, announce that the electronics is a problem, uh, they're, they're going to probably be in, in a lot of trouble because nobody's going to want to drive the car. Um, so I think at this stage they don't want to announce that there's any electronics problem. In its statement to us, Toyota spokesperson said, quote, it's very easy to look from outside in and say, no, there is no problem with the pedal. But this is the problem, and we are fixing it. In fact, Toyota says two days ago, NHTSA said it will take a fresh look into the general issue of electromagnetic interference into the auto industry as a whole, not just related to Toyota. Drew Griffin, CNN, College Park, Maryland.